Hi everybody, Jonathan Reeves here with another VetWorks 2023 teaser video and today's video is all about BIM for landscape. Now if you're a landscape designer or garden designer you've probably been using VetWorks Landmark for a while or heard of it at least but hopefully you've been using it in 3D. Now if you haven't you're in for some amazing treats. As you will see in the video, there's a fantastic new hedgerow tool for doing hedges in 3D. I know that's something my clients have been looking for. And there's some really nice improvements to the site modeling and the railing fence tool by the looks of things as well. So let's hear from Katarina on the new features of Vector 2023 being teased today. At Vectorworks, we are always working hard to improve the features you use every day to accelerate your workflow and give you a more fluid design process. So, with the launch of Vectorworks 2023 right around the corner, we wanted to show you a few of the ways we are doing just that. In this release, we are introducing an exciting new way to add mixed hedgerows into your design. Whether you are working in a 2D or 3D view, you can easily add hedges along a specified path and they will seamlessly be applied to the site model surface. You won't need to leave anything to guesswork. You can specify the hedgerows in quantity per linear unit and still illustrate the hedge at mature spread. So wow, that is a pretty amazing new tool that Vectorworks Landmark is going to feature and the ability to create really kind of detailed hedgerows like this is something that I think is going to be very, very pleasing to many of my landscape design clients. I love the way that it fits to the 3D digital terrain model and I would say if you're not using 3D site modelling and you're a landscape designer, well, now's the time. So let's hear a bit more from Katarina about the railing fence tool improvements and the new worksheets that report the data from that particular tool. This will make a big difference, particularly if you're kind of trying to quantify uh, the work you're doing and using that architectural and landscape BIM workflow together. And in the interest of accuracy, optimization of the railing fence tool means that you can better identify and report on more fundamental subparts you will get a huge upgrade to your material reporting and quantity takeoff abilities in worksheets. There is plenty more to come in Vectorworks 2023. We continue our efforts to give you the tools you need to adopt a BIM workflow and bring your ideas to life. So what do you think guys? I think there's some super exciting features coming in Vectorworks Landmark 2023, so definitely something to look forward to. As I've said before, I've been using Architectural 3D uh, in Vectorworks using site modeling for many, many years. And in the background, you can see some of the work I've done this year for a client for some really cool forest rooms. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. And if you're new around here, please drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video and take care. Bye bye.